Coach, 89 points, an offensive explosion by your squad today. What was the key to success offensively against the Eagles? Well, we definitely had to share the ball and be in attack mode. I mean, they're an extremely athletic team, and they're very deep, too, like us. So I think for us, we tried to get some easy transition buckets, and I thought Sharita did a really good job um, getting us into rhythm and, and, and being able to score and be able to find players, too. And then I thought Ayana did the same thing. And, you know, it just took a team performance. I told them at halftime, we got to really start locking down on defense and do a better job. And I think we adjusted well and was able to really separate ourselves in the second half. Sharita Parker, 36 points. She really took over in that second half. Yeah. What can you say about her performance and how she's really starting to become an offensive leader for this team? I mean, you know, she was dynamic. I mean, you got to put her in the category of, of National Player of the Week, I mean, coming up. I mean, her performance was great. Everything that she did on the floor, she was flawless. But most importantly for me and for the team, she was a great leader. She listened. She really executed. Um, she had good pace. I thought we won the pace game because at first it looked like a trap meet. We were just going back and forth, back and forth. And at halftime, we really had to settle down and do a better job with the pace and controlling possessions, whether we're transition or we're whether in the half court set. And I thought we did a really good job doing that. I thought she got them off balance. Her ability to not just get to the rim, but also pull up for her little mid-range shot and then shoot the three also. So um, she had an unbelievable performance today. In a game like today where it does seem like a bit of a track meet, both teams wanting to push the tempo. Yeah. What are some of the keys to being able to stay in control and keep focus and being able to make shots? Well, I think it's always great early in the season if you have a lot of energy and your bench helps you out and everybody's picking each other up. So as you go throughout the year, those mistakes will lessen. I think that, you know, they did a really good job on the boards and we had to really pay attention to that and try to do our best to keep them off the boards. And then we kind of got in some foul trouble um, with our bigs. And so, you know, we just kept responding through adversity. Honestly, we just kept, you know, making big plays when they try to cut the lead. And that's, says a lot about our maturity and our leadership. So very proud of them. Four and one through five games, a great start by your squad. What have you learned about your team through the opening five games of the season? Um, that they're a team that really um, plays hard for each other. They're a team that has a lot of heart. We talk about grit. We were gritty today and we had to be. We had to own our identity because they're a gritty team. They play very, very hard. So I think that for us, um, you know, we're a very dangerous team when everybody's just buying into the defensive end and, and not worried about who's scoring. You know, tonight was Sharita's night and she was feeling it, but we all got to compete as hard as we can and, and make plays. And I thought a lot of players made big time plays. Even the last possession when we had some freshmen on the floor, um, we were just locked in and, and wanted to have a good, you know, execution throughout for 40 minutes. And so we're really proud of them. And now we get a little break to get off our feet a little bit, rest up, and then get back and get hungry again for VCU.